Hi my beautiful family and welcome to another of my videos. Uh, today I'm going to do my full face of makeup using some old and some new favorites and if you want to see what products I'm going to use then please keep on watching. Okay so this is my second time trying to film this video but I used microphone that unfortunately didn't work so I was hearing that loud clicking noise uh, in the video so I had to delete it and start all over. So I also find other products to use that I liked a little bit more which is a good second chance to try the video, try the products. So let's go in. As a base I'm go actually going to try it for the first time. I did try it yesterday when I tried to film this video once but this is the Fix and Rouge Wonder Love Charm, uh, what is it called? Glow Elixir. And I'm going to use uh, this as my base. It has a very nice shine to it, but it's not too much. And I don't know, I just liked how it kept my makeup in place the whole day. And I did use it as a primer, which I'm surprised it worked pretty good because I do have oily teas on it. Yesterday my makeup on, my makeup kept on uh, or held pretty good. And it gives that natural shine. I like that, especially now when it's getting warmer uh, outside. Though we can't really go around a lot, but you can always pre feel pretty. Why not? And it's a little bit sticky. Not too sticky, but though pretty good and also I'm going to use something that I bought a couple of months ago and it's not a new product but it's kind of new to, to me and I didn't use it a lot in my videos actually have to be honest I don't remember using it in any of my videos before but it's this um, this is the oil control primer absent from Ardell Iredell or Idell can't remember it's dirty I've been using it a lot um, this kind of primer. I really like this primer to oil control and use it to use it on my T-zone. It actually kept my oils in control the whole day. I didn't use it yesterday when I was filming but I remembered it this morning and I do want to use it just to set my T-zone because I love this primer and I didn't use it a lot on my channel. I don't really know why. I was kind of curious to try it out for years. Uh, but I finally had my chance to put my hands on this product and I don't regret. It's an expensive one, but it's worth the price if you have oily tea zone. And also it's pretty good. Then I have plenty of foundations that I really like. I like pure ones. It's one of my favorites. I also Laura Mercier, not Laura Mercier, Estee Lauder Double Wear. It's also my favorite. It reminds me a lot. It's uh, as the pure one. It has almost the same feeling for me. Lightweight, full coverage, very liquidy foundation. I also like the Catrice foundation that is also pretty good. Let me see, I have the packaging here. Uh, this foundation, it's empty. I used up the last drop and I also really like the Born This Way Too Faced foundation. But I don't have those foundations anymore, it's because I emptied all of them. And actually, the one that I haven't used for a long time, but I really, really like, is the blend Beauty Blender foundation, Bonds. And I have it in shade 2.5. And I'm going to use it today as my foundation. Now, I also have the original Beauty Blender, because it's an old favorite. I do have other sponges that I really like, but this video is all about using new and old favorites, so this can count as an old one. The shade is maybe not the best for me right now, but who cares? I don't. <laughs> we can always make it work with a little bit of the concealer and also some bronzer, of course. So tell me guys, what's happening with you? How are you spending your days now when we can't travel or go anywhere? At least I can sit around home and play with makeup. I have to be honest, I didn't have so much energy. I've been off for a week now and I didn't even want to film. I couldn't either film, be even film because my camera broke. But 
I didn't even want to try to film with my phone a lot because I was just taking some days off and really relaxing. I, I had some tough weeks. All this whole this year is tough, but some weeks, you know, with the virus and everything going on and me working. So the schools in Sweden are open and children that don't have symptoms are there, but of course I'm scared of the vi virus who isn't. Okay, so this is giving me nice lightweight full coverage. I do like this foundation a lot and I forgot how much I really like this foundation. If you're an old subscriber or someone that's been watching my videos for a long time, you know that I love trying new foundations and that I get bored of this using the same product over and over again. So let me just say this is something that I really enjoy using and go back to. Now for the concealer, there are a couple of concealers that I really like, but the one that I am going to use today is actually uh, Revolution Conceal and Define. And this is in shade C6. Now this is an old favorite and I've been using it a lot last year and year before that. And this can count as my old favorite because I do like that concealer and I emptied a couple of these bottles and uh, it's a pretty good concealer I have to say. Full coverage, lightweight, and it doesn't make me look cakey or dry. So definitely, what's your favorite concealer now for this year? I don't know. I do you like Tate, uh, Tarte Shape Tape. Uh, I also like the Huda Beauty one. Oh, that one is also awesome. I like Huda Beauty's concealer. And also the Juve. I want to try the e.l.f. one, I haven't tried that yet. Look, seamless, beautiful, one of my favorite concealers. For the contour and as my base bronzer, I'm going to use the Huda Beauty T uh, Tantour in Light. Now, this is the best cream concealer, cream bronzers ever. I don't know if you had a chance to try this, but this is awesome. And I also like the brush, where is it? Uh, where is the brush? There is it. I also like the brush that comes with this and not comes with it, but that supposed to that you're supposed to use for this is face sculpt and shape shape. And I've been using this a lot. This blends like a dream on my face, and it's I know one of my favorite products. Definitely something I am going to repurchase when I use up I don't know it's just something about this product that I really really enjoy it blends so nice it's seamless and it just just works so I'm going to use the other shade to blend it and here you know it doesn't dry very fast so you do have a plenty of time to work with it and my concealer is creasing that happens with every concealer but we are going to set it when I finish the bronzer and what, what I like about this bronzer is that you can use it on top of powder too so even if you set your face and you forget to set, use this product definitely something you can use on top and it blends like a dream then too so I really like it is really really a nice product have you tried it guys so I'm going to go in with my beauty blender and make it look seamless for the powder there are a couple of powders I really like I do love Huda Beauty powder and I'm going to use uh, that one today in shade now I had a couple of shades that I've used up but this is sugar cookie I think that's the lightest shade my children are playing in the room next to this one where I film, so if you hear the voices, it's definitely dumb. I'm going to set just my T-zone and it's because I want to use another powder that I just that I tried twice and I don't know, I've, I have mixed feelings. I do want to like it and it feels like it's going to be my next favorite. 
uh, to set rest of my face. I like to go a little bit heavy with my powders. That makes my under eyes a little bit brighter. This shade and it opens my face. So I'm going to use uh, the one that I actually reviewed a week or two ago and this is Urban Glow Finish uh, Translucent Powder. And Urban Glow is a vegan, cruelty-free brand that has amazing ingredients. And I've been trying out their products that I reviewed. And I really like them. So I'm going to use that. I kind of like this powder more and more as I've been using it. But I'm trying it out with different foundations. And I don't know, something makes it work. But I'm not 100% sold yet. I don't know why it takes me so long. Usually when I like something, I immediately like it. Uh, but some products just need more time to get into my heart. But for some reason, I do reach for it. I don't know why. Maybe because it's vegan and cruelty-free and it's so beautiful. One of the blushes I really like is the cream blush from Natasha Denona. But I'm not going to use that today. Because um, I also read the Urban Glow's blush palette in 01. And this blush palette is something that I just fell in love with immediately. And today I'm going to use this matte shade. And of course, if you haven't tried the Natasha Denona's cream blush, you need to. It's one of my favorites. But today I just want to do, use some new products. And this is a new favorite that I'm going to use. It's a beautiful, nice blush, and this palette is travel friendly because it does have a very nice mirror in it. In. I don't know why I do have the other mirror because this one works beautiful. The packaging is stunning, it's a nice price. I think it's around $20. This blush palette, and it's worth the money. Really worth the money. And of course I'm going to use the bronzer and I'm also going to use Urban Glow bronzer because it is uh, my new favorite. It's my new favorite. It looks so dark. They only have one shade of bronzers and everything else. Uh, but so far. But it looked dark and I was scared of it. But it's not so pigmented immediately. It's pigmented but not immediately. It's easy to build it up. And I don't know what it is about this bronzer, but it's just, I don't know, it's just beautiful, seamless, stunning, doesn't have a glow. Um, so I'm going to, of course, use another one to show you guys. But this one is stunning. We do have that cream product under it, but... Everything, the bronze and the blush work so beautiful together that it melts into the skin and just creates this nice seamless uh, seamless look. Now I am very bright, bright under my eyes and it's what I am looking for. It is the look I'm looking for because we are going to go a little bit heavy with the eye makeup. Then another bronzer that I like using and it's a lot of bronzers today but this is Essence Luminous Matte Bronzer. It says matte. It's matte, but I don't know, this center, for some reason, it gives me like a nice top, not shiny, but luminous look. It's matte, but it's, I don't know how it works, but I, don't, I just like using this on top because it gives me not, not natural shine, but without being shiny, so you like using that on top. Just a little bit of it, but I just like this bronzy look and it's going to go, go beautifully with the makeup look, I promise. I know I look very bronze and full coverage, but this makeup is, it feels good on the skin. I don't feel like I have so many products on and it looks stunning. I'm sorry for watching myself in the camera. I'm not used to this new camera and I love it. Okay, so now we need something for the lips, guys. Something for the lips. And the new favorite is the lip glosses from Urban Glow. Yesterday when I did this, did this makeup look, I used another eyeshadow palette and I used this 
lip gloss but today I'm going to go orange because these lip gloss sorry these lip glosses I know I told you guys in video where, where when I reviewed Urban Glow makeup that these lip glosses felt a little bit heavy and uh, a little bit sticky and it is like that in the beginning but after wearing it a half an hour it kind of all the moist kind of sank into the skin or into the lips and made my lips feel nice soft and a little bit plump I felt like they looked plump and felt like that it does have that nice minty but not too minty uh, feeling to it so I do like this lip gloss I'm, I'm more than I thought I would but I am going to use a lip liner under it and I'm going to use a lip liner from LA Girl and this is shade Sensational that I got from my friend Valerie in our box swap but not the latest one I think it was one before I need to make this a little bit sharper but I love this lip gloss so we'll leave it like this for a couple of minutes and then it will sink into the skin and it's going to feel much better now as a base for the eyeshadow we are actually going to use wet and wild eyeshadow primer it's one of the best eyeshadow primers now i know this one and urban decays portion is are two eyeshadow primers that really work for my oily eyelids and that i really like using but this is more let me just say um cheaper <laughs> i want my eyeshadow look to be on my eyes for hours and the only way to do so or make it like that is actually to set it with some powder otherwise it's going to disappear and i don't want that i don't like that look and it's i'm not what i'm looking for so i want my shadow to stay and be there and that's why i always set my eyeshadow primer. okay so now for the eyeshadow I'm going to go in with Natasha Denona's eyeshadow palette and this is in Sunset Sunset palette. It's one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes. Uh, I know why these eyeshadows are like has like has oil that kind of leaks a little bit. But first of all, I thought that I want orangey sunset makeup look, but I'm going to use actually the shades that I haven't been using a lot and it's these brown shades. I did use them a lot, don't get me wrong, but I haven't used this, uh, this shade as much as I've used the others and I wanted to create something that I haven't created before on my channel. As the base, we are going to go in this shade here that is called Bermuda, Bermuda, I don't know. These shades are so uh, hard to pronounce. Now, what I don't like about this palette is uh, this, it's annoying. I don't want to take it off because, of, definitely you can take it off, but I don't want to because I want to have the names that I'm going to use and I like showing you the shades that I'm using when I go, as I go. And then I'm going to go in this shade here, Sina, Sinai, Sinai, Sinai. Let's just pull it and show you. And we are going to use it in the crease. I, uh, I'm not a big fan of the mirror in here, I have to be honest. So I'm going to take, leave the palette down here and I'm going to use another mirror. So then I'm going to go and use the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe 33 brush. And I'm going to go in with this shade here. And work it also in the crease to deep up the crease a little bit see the shades are doing the job for you they're blending themselves then I'm going to use the same brush and go in with this shade here this one here Then, of course, we are going to go a little bit deeper and we'll go use uh, this shade, the darkest shade in this palette. 
with another of Morphe and Jaclyn Hill brushes, number 40. It's one of it's my favorite brushes. Some of my favorite brushes. Just a little bit deep up here. Then I'm going to cut the crease and I'm going to go and use the P. Louise base to cut the crease. Now it's not my favorite base. It is for cutting the crease but not using it as a base because it creases on my eyes. For some reason this uh, P. Louise base used as a primer, eyeshadow primer, for me it doesn't work. It makes my eyeshadow crease after a couple of hours but for cutting the crease it works nice. So my favorite brush to apply shimmery shades uh, is the uh, Linda Halberry 305 and I'm going to go in with this shade here that I said I'm going to use in the beginning. It's called Bronzage, Bronzage, Bronz no we are not going in there. Now I'm going to try to use it with this brush without uh, wetting it. Yes, it works fine. So I'm going to go in with this brush that we have for this brown shade and just blend a little bit here. Perfect. Let's go under the lower lash line. And we are going to go and use a smaller brush, any smaller brush. I know what this is for a brush, it's for, for some palette. And I'm going to go and use uh, this shade here. Not the whole way, just to the middle. some fallout I need to take away and then I'm going to go in with the deepest shade and go closer to the eyelashes do the same thing on the other eye and then I'm going to go in with the, the shade that we had in a crease just blend a little bit under to connect everything. Then I'm going to clean this brush and I'm going to go in with this yellow shade. Pop it here. And then I'm going to go in with this the white shade in this palette and I'm going to pop it in the corner. Like that. Also a little bit on top of that yellow. The eyebrows. And voila, the makeup look is done. Now I need to do my eyebrows, which I forgot. And I'm going to go use the old favorite. Where is it? Yes, my old favorite, and it's from Saffron um, brand. It's an, I don't know where I got this. I think it's from Dollar Store or something. I don't know why. It's something with this product that just made me fall in love with it. Uh, it works beautifully. It's pigmented, but not too pigmented, easy to build up. It's not for someone that doesn't have any eyebrows that need to have, need a pointier work with details. But if you have similar eyebrows like I do and just want to fill them in, this is perfect. And we need two more products, or actually three. We need eyelashes, mascara, and also we need the highlighter. So, for eyelashes, I tried new pair eyelashes that I got from Valerie yesterday. This is the Kiss Contour Fox Mean Collection Lash in uh, Twilight Kiss. Now the band is too big, so I had a hard time applying these and I couldn't apply them, so I gave up. 
But let's see if I can find another pair. So I'm going to use Naked Drama, also from Kiss that I got from my friend Valerie too. And let's see if we can make these work, but because yesterday I couldn't make those work. I think I cut a little bit too much, but we can really make this work. I always shake when I need to apply eyelashes, like I'm nervous, I don't know why. Nothing's going to happen, but just, I'm just nervous. It's not like I can't go too close to my eye because I wear lenses sometimes. So I can park myself in the eye. I just feel like, I don't know, I get nervous when I need to apply eyelashes. My makeup look flawless. Flawless, I have to say. This foundation is beautiful, especially with these two products under it. I feel like this lip gloss doesn't go with the makeup look, so we are going to change it. Ooh, these are like a lot. These work like a dream. So easy to apply. The band is softer, much easier to work with. So I like this so much more. Um, I think I'm going, it's eyelid, eyelid, I don't know how to pronounce this name, but these I'll definitely buy more. I'm going to use a mascara and for mascara, I'm going to go in where L'Oreal uh, Telescopic False Lash. It's an old favorite that I restarted using again, and I do like this mascara. I'm going to change the lip gloss. I'm going to go in with an old favorite, this Bare Minerals in shade Fly, and it's old favorite lip gloss. And it goes perfect with the makeup look. So I still have that uh, pink lip liner under it, or orange lip liner, but it doesn't matter. Guys, this is the final look. I love how this turned out. Let's take this off. So guys, this is the final look. I really like how everything tur turned off. Now my hair is not perfect today, but who cares? This is my old and new favorites that I've used a lot. I just wanted to use all of them again in one video to show you my new and old favorites. Of course, eyelashes is something new that I haven't tried out, but still something I do like. I'm going to set my face and I'm going to go use the new favorite. This is Infallible Magic Setting Spray from L'Oreal. And the mist is perfect. Perfect. So, voila. What do you think, guys? I really like and enjoy every single product that I've used today. Like I said, some products don't work as they're supposed to, like this P. Louise base. I don't use it as everybody else uses it, but it still works for me using it to put, to kind of cut my crease. It's how it still works the way it's supposed to, but not applied as a base base, you know what I mean? Uh, also, this uh, primer that I used under it feels very nice on my skin, and it's something that I just stopped using, that I, after one use, fell in love with. And that's how it is sometimes with the products, also like with this Huda Beauty Tanto product. It's something that I fell in love immediately, and it just grabbed my attention, and something that I reach for all the time, something that I do recommend for you guys, especially now when there are some sales on. Some products are... Uh, less expensive than the others like the concealer revolution concealer is my go-to is something that I love and always need to have even if there are other more expensive uh, cr more expensive concealers that I like and do recommend I always go back to revolutions one it's the um, uh, it's the can the first conceal and define concealer now I have the big one they'll have the small packaging still yeah, guys, that was everything. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell. 
and I'll see you in my next video. I love you all. Bye.